Also, I got to tell you, I got 99 problems and palsy is just one. <laughs> if, if there was an oppression Olympics, I would win the gold medal. I'm Palestinian, Muslim, I'm female, I'm disabled, and I live in New Jersey. <laughs> اه اكيد الكوميدي تبعي رايح يحرر فلسطين 100% متاكد. I think that comedy has a power to make people like and understand people they otherwise hate. I think it's a great equalizer. But do I think that my comedy can change the minds of millions? No, I don't. So I don't focus on the millions. I focus on individuals. And I do believe that when I go on stage as a Palestinian woman with a disability and I show that I'm highly functional, that I can do anything that my able-bodied counterparts do, I inspire parents of children with disabilities to treat them differently and to understand that they have potential. And I also terrify men and remind them that we brought you into this world and we can take you out. Where is the white girl that's here with her Palestinian boyfriend to learn about his culture. Where are you? There she is, Betty. Hi, have you I need to talk to you for a second. He's not going to marry you. <laughs> and, and, and it's totally OK, because if he did, his mother would kill you. So this is all for the best. Yeah. There are definitely problems in the Palestinian society, and one of the things I always like to say is the main issue is the occupation. But when we put that aside, I think that as a people, we've become complacent. We've come to accept the fact that we no longer have equal rights, and we are, in certain ways, empowering the occupation by denying equality to women. My mother grew up in a village called Deir de in 1967, and she had more freedom than women in Palestine have today. She wore short dresses and sleeveless, and she went to school, and she was educated. And what I've seen recently in Palestine is that women have been removed from being main players in society. So yes, there are people excelling that are engineers that are working in hotels. But the majority of women, we seem to have moved backwards with women's rights. And when I tell people in Palestine, it's of the utmost importance that women have equal power, because together we're much more fierce. They say to me, first let's free ourselves, then we'll talk about women's rights. And I don't think that that's the way it goes. I think that equality for all needs to be involved from the very beginning. You've done so much in your career. Is there anything else you would just love to do? There's so much I want to do. Number one, I want to be on General Hospital. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's bring this full circle. <laughs> and um, the other thing I'd like to do is win an Oscar, which I think would be very, very easy. All I need is for someone to cast me because disabilities win awards. Ah. Mm. They can't say no. This is they can't true. say no. Forrest Gump, Helen Hunt in the piano, <laughs> Rayman, Marley Matlin, you want me to keep going? Oh. Disabilities win awards. I'm extremely impressed by the work that Palestinian filmmakers are doing, and I'm really happy that some of the most powerful voices in Palestinian film are female. But what I'd like to see is for us to start telling more original stories. I kind of feel like I've seen the same story told over and over through different eyes, and I feel like it's time for us to evolve and stop allowing the occupation to define the art that we put out in the world. Sure, it's a big part of our society, but it shouldn't always define us. I'd like to see more variety. I find it fascinating that Palestinian filmmakers have found a way to shoot in such difficult circumstances. We have so much going against us, and film is not cheap. So it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of patience, and I'm really impressed by the fact that we have been able to produce Oscar-nominated works, like the stuff that Hani Abu Asad has made. I still feel like we could be a much more powerful voice if we kind of let go and started doing more um, unique work. In my senior year, they did a play called They Dance Real Slow in Jackson, and it was about a girl with cerebral palsy, and I'm a girl with cerebral palsy, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm getting this part, and I didn't get the part. <laughs> yeah, and they said that, uh, they said I couldn't do the stunts, 
And I was like, if I can't do the stunts, neither can the character. And the problem... <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah, right? Oh, of course. For the past 12 years, I've been co-producing a comedy festival called the New York Arab American Comedy Festival in America. And Dino Vidala, who is my co-producer, he and I decided a long time ago that we had a mantra. And our mantra was that we wanted all the comedians to work together. It wasn't about competing. It wasn't about leaving people out. It wasn't about shaming. We knew that by having everyone work together, we'd be a much more powerful force than if you had like 20 little comedy festivals all trying to claim this, the same space. I think that Palestinian filmmakers could really benefit from that. I think right now we have a fear. If you get funding, I'm not going to get funding. If my film gets made, your film's not going to get made. And instead, if we worked together, we could be an extremely, extremely powerful voice. We know that movies change the way people view society. My father taught me how I walk when I was five years old by placing my heels on his feet and just walking. Another tactic that he used is he would dangle a dollar bill in front of me <laughs> and have me chase it. My inner stripper was very strong and by... Yeah. My message to my fellow Palestinians is the same message that my dad taught me you can do it. Yes, you can, can. We need to keep hope alive. We need to not give up. We need to not accept corruption as a fact. We need to clean out our own house and become strong on our own so that we can take on the injustices that we face on a daily basis. And I think that right now, we have given up. And we need the new generation and the old generation to work together to renew that hope and to prove that we can do this, that we deserve equality, that we deserve human rights, and that together we are much stronger than divided. And it's the dream of Israel and the occupation to divide us. So when we allow them to do that, we disempower ourselves and empower the occupation. So we need to work together. We need to not accept corruption. We need to be willing to take risks and be leaders instead of sheep. أنا اسمي ميسون زايد وبدي أعيش <تصفيق>